Yeah, I mean, we definitely will be able to create completely autonomous beings with their own goals. And it will be very important, especially as these beings become much smarter than humans, as the goals of these beings be aligned with our goals. This is one of the more mysterious figures in the AI space, Ilya Sutskover. Or Sutskever, however you want to pronounce that, he was likely one of the biggest contributors to the development of OpenAI and GPT-4, hailed by Sam Altman, Elon Musk, and others for his brilliance in the field of AI. One of the deciding figures in the OpenAI board coup that happened in November of last year, and somehow constantly the center of memes like Feel the AGI, which is something he would chant at the OpenAI offices, or what did Ilya see, what development did he uncover that spooked him and the board into taking some drastic actions to potentially slow down OpenAI, refocus it on safety. But none of these questions more pressing than where is Ilya? Sam Altman has been asked this question so many times. Is Ilya in the box delivered by Jensen Huang? Is Ilya in some underground nuclear facility, a secret bunker? Well, now we know. Ilya has been busy building, not AGI, not artificial general intelligence, that's old news. He's been building ASI, artificial superintelligence, but he's calling it, and I do apologize for all the acronyms, he's calling it SSI, safe super intelligence. And he's saying it's the most important technical problem of our time. So he's building the world's first straight shot SSI lab. We'll come back to that because a straight shot SSI lab is important. So let's start at the beginning. Here's him, Ilya Sutskover. He's saying, I'm starting a new company. We will pursue safe super intelligence in a straight shot with one focus, one goal, and one product. We will do it through revolutionary breakthroughs produced by a small cracked team. Join us. And for using the word cracked, please have a like, good sir. So the company is at SSI, Safe Super Intelligence. As I'm looking at this, I'm wondering, did Elon work his magic in the background somewhere? How do you get a handle like that nowadays? Keep in mind, Elon Musk has said on numerous occasions how much great respect he has for Ilya. He was the one that initially helped recruit Ilya to the OpenAI team. This is their website, ssi.inc, and they're saying superintelligence is within reach. Now, if you've been paying attention recently, a lot of people are suggesting that AI, deep learning, etc., it's hitting a wall. It's slowing down in progress. LLMs aren't the pathway to AGI, much less some sort of a superintelligence. There's a great video from about a year back where Ilya Sutskover at length discusses why in the upcoming years, a lot of people will think that there will be an AI winter. And then he explains why that will not happen, why progress will keep ramping up rapidly. And here he's saying superintelligence is within reach. And that building a safe superintelligence is the most important technical problem of our time, which certainly I would agree with. We have started the world's first straight shot SSI lab with one goal and one product, a safe superintelligence. It's called Safe Superintelligence Inc. They use the word safe a lot. And as you'll see, their history at OpenAI is probably responsible for some of that. SSI is our mission, our name, and our entire product roadmap because it is our sole focus. Our team, investors, and business model are all aligned to achieve SSI. We approach safety and capabilities in tandem together as technical problems to be solved through revolutionary engineering and scientific breakthroughs. We plan to advance capabilities as fast as possible while making sure our safety always remains ahead. This way we can scale in peace. Our singular focus means no distraction by management overhead or product cycles, and our business model means safety, security and progress are all insulated from short-term commercial pressures. We are an American company with offices in Palo Alto and Tel Aviv, where we have deep roots and the ability to recruit top technical talent. And certainly Ilya, while born in Russia, in the course of his life, developed a lot of roots in both Palo Alto, like the Bay Area in San Francisco, California, as well as Tel Aviv and Israel. We are assembling a lean, crack team of the world's best engineers and researchers dedicated to focusing on SSI and nothing else. Cracked, I believe, started out as a gaming term, meaning someone's insanely good at something. And now often in tech used to describe somebody, for example, a developer or engineer that's incredibly good, focused, 
knowledgeable, just incredibly capable. If that's you, we offer an opportunity to, you, to do your life's work and help solve the most important technical challenge of our age. Now's the time, join us and the three co-founders, Ilya, Daniel Gross, Daniel Levy. So this is Daniel Gross. I personally don't know too much about this person. So it looks like he's an engineer and investor, co-founder of Q, a search engine acquired by Apple in 2013, ran AI and search projects at Apple and invested in some pretty big startups like Instacart, Coin Coinbase, GitHub, etc. It looks like he was a partner at Y Combinator and started its AI program. And Daniel Levy is the third co-founder, previously at OpenAI, PhD at Stanford, Google Brain, and Facebook. Really likes the various crime TV series, it looks like. The Wire, Sopranos, a lot of Sopranos. The Wire and Billions, apparently. Bloomberg has an article by Ashley Vance. Ashley Vance is the guy behind that Elon Musk biography from 2015. Interestingly, Daniel Gross, one of the co-founders, is, according to Ashley, Vance is building, you know, it's impressive that he's building super intelligence with Ilya Sutskiver, while also backing apparently John Carmack's AI efforts, which I've been following quite a bit. John Carmack, of course, is an incredibly interesting person, the original developer of Doom. Yes, that Doom from the 90s. And since then has embarked on his own quest to develop AGI. And so Ashley is interviewing Ilya Sutskiver about his new venture, Safe Super Intelligence Inc., in which Ilya is attempting to continue his work without many of the distractions that rivals such as OpenAI, Google, and Anthropic Face. This stands out to me. This company is special in that its first product will be the safe super intelligence and will not do anything else up until then. So no demos, no product releases, no anything until safe super intelligence. It will be fully insulated from the outside pressures of having to deal with a large and complicated product and having to be stuck in a competitive rat race. Now, Ilya is not naming who is backing this or how much they've raised. We're assuming Daniel Gross probably invested some money in it, but we, we have no idea that there, there has been no confirmation of that. They talk a bit about exactly what AI safety means. Ilya yeah, is a little bit vague about this, but he does suggest the safety will be done through engineering breakthroughs baked into the AI system, as opposed to guardrails that are applied to the technology on the fly. By safe, we mean safe like nuclear safety, as opposed to safe as in trust and safety. This little quote about trust and safety is interesting. So if you look at OpenAI's and their principles, they're saying they want to be a pioneer in trust and safety. So this seems like a little bit of a uh, shots fired at OpenAI sort of thing. And of course, there's two co-founders. One is an investor and former Apple Inc. AI lead, Daniel Gross, who backed a number of high profile AI startups, including Keen Technologies. I'm curious how many of you know where that name came from. Again, hint, it's John Carmack's AGI effort, Keen Technologies, keenagi.com. Let me know in the comments if you know what keen refers to. I'll give you a hint. So that's Daniel Gross and the other co-founders, Daniel Levy, who built a strong reputation for training large AI models, working alongside Ilya at OpenAI. He's saying, my vision is exactly the same as Ilya's, a small, lean, cracked team with everyone focused on the single objective of safe super intelligence. They mentioned here that both Sutskiver and Gross grew up in Israel. Ilya is saying that his relationship with Sam Altman is good, and then Sam Altman knows kind of in broad strokes about this new venture, but nothing specific. He's also saying that that this whole experience since the OpenAI coup and him leaving OpenAI, he's saying it's been a very, very strange experience. They point out that the investors putting money into SSI, Super Safe Intelligence, well, they're investing without the hope of creating profitable hit products along the way. This is what they mean when they say straight shot SSI. No quick cash grab releases, subscription models, APIs, etc. Straight shot seems like a kind of a do or die scenario. They're saying there's no consensus in the industry about whether such an intelligence, a super intelligence, is achievable or how a company would go about building one. This is very, very true. There is no consensus. We don't even have consensus about AGI or even if LMs have the ability to reason, to to improve, to kind of make guesses that kind of fall outside of their training data. So the fact that Ilya, kind of this like a legendary figure in the space, is saying, I mean, some pretty bold statements. He's saying we're getting to super intelligence. It's within reach. We don't need to partner up with a trillion dollar public traded company. We don't need to release products. We just need a small, lean team. A lot of this sounds very, very ambitious. Ilya is saying that the way to make AI safe 
for it to be a force for good, it should be operating on top of some key values. Values that have been so successful in the past hundred years that underpin liberal democracies like liberty, democracy, and freedom. With current systems, he says, you talk to it, you have a conversation, and you're done. The system he wants to pursue would be a more general purpose and expansive in its abilities. You're talking about a giant super data center that's autonomously developing technology. That's crazy, right? It's the safety of that that we want to contribute to. But what do you think about this whole situation? First of all, how realistic is Ilya's goal of, first of all, building a super intelligence with what seems to be a small team with not a massive amount of funding and seemingly pretty quickly? Certainly, if they're saying there's not going to be any products in your releases until they get to ASI, right? They're not thinking, you know, decades in the future. It sounds like it's something in the more near or medium term. Also, there was this uh, XKCD comic from a while back, 2015, I think, which kind of hit the nail on the head with this idea, right? If there's some situation where there's other companies or other benchmarks or other ways of doing something, there's always some engineer that's going, no, that's, that's wrong. I can do better. I can build the one company or benchmark or tool that does everything right. Everybody gets excited. Everybody agrees. And the next step is, well, now there's one more company or benchmark or tool that's supposed to unify everything, right? So in this case, there was OpenAI, then Anthropic split away from them because they wanted to be, build the safer AGI, right? Then Elon Musk and XAI also came out and said, no, we want to build the safer AGI. And now this announcement, so there's yet another company that's building the safe AGI, but now it's ASI, super intelligence. So I'm sure some cynical people might say, well, this is just sort of the in inflation of expectations. You have to say ever bigger and sort of crazier things to get attention in order to get funding. If OpenAI is saying they're developing AGI and you have a company that's saying you're developing AGI, that doesn't get a lot of attention. But if you're saying you're developing ASI, well, that's a whole different thing. On the other hand, Ilya doesn't seem like the type of person that plays games like that or says things loosely. He seems like a very serious, very focused, very honest person and, and very convinced that this technology is coming soon and it's incredibly important that we get it right. But let me know what you think in the comments. We'll wait and see and hopefully there'll be more news coming out of this company. Hopefully there'll be more things that they publish. Ilya is a fascinating character and I do want to know more about him and how he thinks and what he's working on. So exciting time ahead. With that said, my name is Wes Roth and thank you for watching.